hello 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 we are back with another video okay guys episode 9 cardio box 101 fitness talk with zim yes and yes today let me just jump right into it today we do, we're doing uh, we're going to talk about choreography yes choreography uh, today we're just going to I'm just going to give guidelines on how I do choreography on how I do the movements and and I'm going to compare the way I do the movements now versus how I used to do them before and I will also touch on to some choreography that is done out there uh, 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 you can take your options and make your decisions based on your understanding and I would recommend the way I'm going to share the way I do it obviously I would recommend that way and I will tell you why I recommend that way because not only does it make you a, a, a train most of the time in the class it also uh, makes more sense when it comes to if you go to a real gym and, and, and you're going to train there or whatever it is it just makes more sense as far as the simulation of a fight is concerned right imagine if we were to say we are doing a simulation of cycling but we are flying you know if you get what i mean or we say we are doing a simulation of dance but we are doing push-ups you, you know i i feel that the 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 whole uh, being able to stick to the program at hand right let's go to choreography how I do choreography now versus how I used to do it versus how you will see some choreography number one you get choreography uh, this is not yet mine you get choreography where someone will punch do a basic choreography of 32 counts that goes to the other side and then they start again let's say three punches one punch one punch three knees three knees then they go to the other side three punches one punch move one punch move three knees three knees that that is a 32 count choreography now this style and then you find that now from there i start with the three knees i change the three knees and then i continue then after that I change something else again then after that I change direction after that then at the end I've got this 32 of different movements that are going to different directions that's the first choreography that you see that's exactly how we teach step in step you do basic step maybe four basic steps one knee one knee repeater and then from there you start layering that choreography so that type of choreography that's layering we use it for step mainly and also for high so some people use the same choreography for box right in fact majority of the people that you will see on social media that's the type of choreography that they will be teaching with they will be using and and now when it comes to real fighting it has nothing to do with it most of the time there will be more dance in that is added than real punches and kicks and sometimes you will find that where there was no knee a knee will develop again for me i'm not i don't i don't believe that you should go one two three and then go one two three you understand for me it's no longer it's no longer the same thing that you were doing why did you do three punches if you are not going to have punches at the end of the day you know uh, why didn't you have knee punch punch so that we can know that there is a knee uh, that is how you should develop if i were to teach like that that's how i would do it if i'm going to have two knees and some punches then what i would do is that i will make sure that from the beginning of my choreography i've got that uh, for one of the videos i'm going to make time and, and create that type of choreography so that you can see what I'm talking about. What do I mean that your choreography shouldn't, shouldn't change much? It should still be what your basic look like. Now, if someone decides to stick to basic, they are doing three punches. The rest of the class is doing a knee, a kick, a ship ship, whatever it is. Now you're like, hmm, what did we change? 
nothing we did actually that's what we did we changed we did not progress because the, the aim is to progress on the same movement because if you're just going to change and go anywhere where god says we should then we've got a problem you understand so it's very important when you're developing that choreography it should resemble the basic it should be it should be similar it should be more of yes it's the same thing but this one is progressed right then you go to how i used to do choreography before it used to be basic most of the time basic nice popular movement like one two three still used even today cross cross others call it side punches other they give it names it's basically three crosses that are going towards different directions and and where how i used to do it before i did not really have a target i would punch there go to that side punch there go to that you understand eh, eh, eh. okay now i still do that for warm-up a little bit of it but at least now i know that when i'm building a choreography i should have a target most of the time not all the time most of the time i still place my target there this goes to show that even what i'm doing is not yet 100 percent complete because for it to be 100 percent complete i should be on my target throughout the class you get me but now I, I i still have some things that i haven't left really from the past but slowly i am moving away from that type of choreography towards the type of choreography where my target is always in front of me be it i'm on a front stance or i'm on a i'm on a combat stance it's not very easy to do i won't lie especially you've got movements that have that are embedded in the in in the people's uh, uh, minds that you would want to keep uh, to to have some form of continuity but it's, it's really not easy to just move on but we are slowly 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 getting there we are slowly getting these moves into the minds of the people you understand right so yes i would have different types of movements i still kept everything pretty basic uh, 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 but they still uh, i was still all over the place now when i'm doing movements i have a target placed in front of me if i'm crossing hooking uppercut on the target knee strikes on the target if the target is going to move the target can be there and there and there the target will move to that side and will come back to this side or it will move all the way and come back but it should make sense when i'm doing shadow boxing that my target has moved i'm moving with the target you know there's another movement that i was doing where i would go for a hook then sleep jab cross now now more of now i went for a hook then the the, the person is fighting back i slip the punch then one two then now i retreat you know one two one two i retreat they move across then i go throw a knee but like it's it's those kind of things see the person that you are you are shadow boxing or you are boxing against see your target move with your target sleep because the target will punch back sleep back to the front to the side and all those kind of things bob and weave and it just makes a whole lot of a nice scenario or an experience uh, I, I would say that if you go to punch there and there and then and then it looks like you're doing a chinese movie which there's nothing wrong with it you can still do your chinese movie but i would not recommend that because there is a group of people that are able to do those things unless you just want to cater for that group of people because the rest of us we are going to watch and 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 and, and hence sometimes you find that you you go to an event and 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 you see the winners you like uh, but this one does not know how to punch but how did they win but you like hey you know what you just shut your mouth and continue with life all right so <laughs> i'm done with the guys too so let's move on back to choreography now number one choreography try to find a target work on the target if it's moving 
move the target. If it's stationary, like you envision, envision a bag, stay on the bag. You can move around, you know, yeah. And then secondly, it makes, a, it makes choreography nice and it makes a lot of sense and you get to recruit more muscle, muscles. If you are going to punch and use knee strikes, knee strikes and kicks sometimes, uh, you don't have to have a kick with every movement, but at least knee strikes, knee strikes and punches. You get to work on both the lower and the upper body. Remember, a knee strike is a shorter lever, a kick is a longer lever. Then you've got your straight and jabs as short as longer levers, and then you've got your hooks and uppercuts as shorter levers. So you, you try to do a nice mix of all these things. Uppercut, uppercut, hook, one, two, three. So you've got straight, straight, straight. Now they are coming back to you. Throw a knee. Go again. Uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, jab, hook, cross. They come, go back, throw a knee. Look, you check a kick, lifting a knee, twisting to the side. Go back again. Same target, you can move, change direction, other side, uppercut, uppercut, hook, one, two, three, go back, knee, again, uppercut, uppercut, makes it nice, makes it nice. And then, uh, and then another thing that you should have in your, in your choreography that a lot of people underestimate is a break. What a break does in your choreography, um, <laughs> you get time to gather more energy so that you can work again. Go, ba, 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 ba. March, go. Ba, 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 ba. March. Try not to bombard. You can bombard maybe for three short moves, but when you've got a long choreography, have at least four counts where people are just marching. That four counts, it helps for them to gather more energy and attack again. Another thing is that when you want the class to be easier, you can make those breaks to be two. When you want the class to be harder, you can make that break to be one. It's very important. And then if you want to cut the break, make the movement shorter. Don't make them to do it for too long as well then you can push a couple of movements without a break that are short then you know that after that you're going to give them a break so it's more like when you think think about fitness think heat high intensity interval training and at the same time as much as you're doing cardio you still need to have intervals let me just use intervals have intervals in your class you know, understand even though it's a cardio class have your intervals so that you can work people they work with the best of their ability they get shorter breaks they work again shorter breaks you know, understand yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. and then what else what else what else about choreography what else yes man uh, that's basically what i think we should focus on when we're doing choreography and of course, the next subject that we are going to dwell on is going to be technique. But I just, I'm just now finishing up music and choreography. I understand? Uh, because now I'm not yet into deep, deep, deep music. I'm still on the basic. Uh, but I think we're going to move on to technique. Then we come back to music. You know, that kind of thing. Yes, uh, please let me know what you think uh, regarding choreography, career box choreography. And if there are other things that you want me to talk about, please ask, please let me know so that we can be able to cover those things, especially when it comes to choreography and music. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Because, oh, by the way, I'm, I think, I don't know when, I think this will be available on Monday. So yes, I'm shooting it on Saturday. Have a beautiful week. And please remember to subscribe like the videos on the channel, share with other people, invite them in this journey. I love you. Peace.